An easy way to get more outputs on your Arduino with only one pin is by using a shift register like I have right here. So let me show you how to do that. Hi, I'm Tom Kovicak and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. If you run out of outputs on your Arduino, you could always use a shift register to increase those outputs by only using one more pin. It's called serial communication. Just like a PCA9685 that we use for servos, it's the same principle. Serial communication, a data pin, a clock pin, and a trigger. On this project, we're going to use 16 LEDs like I have on this breadboard and two shift registers. The hardest part of this entire project is placing all the components on the breadboards. You have two shift registers, you have 16 LEDs, and you have 16 resistors and the wires going between it. There are many shift registers available on the market. The one we're using for this project is the 74HC595N dual inline package chip. This chip is included in the Elegoo Super Starter Kit Uno R3 project and most other starter kits available on the market. Let's take a look at the pinout for this chip. The eight outputs on here are designated as Q0 through Q7. The power and ground pins are on opposite corners. The ground is on pin 8 and your 5 volt is on pin 16. In this sketch we're also going to place 5 volts on pin 10 to keep it high. If using more than one shift register like in this sketch, Connect pin 9 from one device to 14 of the next. You can daisy chain multiple devices in this fashion. Pin 14 is the data pin. Pin 13 is the output enable and in this sketch is going to ground. Pin 12 is the register clock pin and latch and pin 11 is the clock pin. The link for the code and the fritzing diagram can be found in the description of this video. This is how I hooked mine up. It looks complicated, but it's pretty simple. It just takes a while to put everything on the breadboard. Keep in mind, you don't have to create your own code for your Arduino projects. If you can imagine it, chances are it's already on the internet somewhere. You just have to search for it, just like this one. Code and inspiration for this project was provided by Creative Stuff. There are many Arduino projects available on this channel by this creator. Please support all creators that provide you with valuable information by clicking their subscribe button. We're using an Arduino Uno for this project, but any Arduino will do. The majority of the outputs are on one side of the chip, making it easier to wire. Pins 11 and 12 are connected together through the yellow and orange wires. The green wire is to daisy chain the two devices together. By using pin 9 on the chip on the right and pin 14 on the chip on the left. Let's take a look at the different sequences that are in the code. There are five different sequences in there, but you could do anything that you want if you have the right code for your project. Say you have a marquee on a building and you want to light it up with different patterns. You could do this with the shift register and only use one pin for the output on that and use the rest of the pins on your Arduino for the remainder of the lights in the building. The method used to code the sequence of lights in this sketch is not the only way to code. More examples can be found in Drone Bok Workshop. 
I'll put the link in the description for that channel also. Let's take a quick look at the code. All right, right here you can see it's pretty straightforward, just like any other code. You initialize everything at the top. You set up, you tell the Arduino what's going on, and then you come down to the loop. Here is your loop with the five different sequences. And you can see effect repeat, effect repeat, all the way down the switch on both of them. Effect D and then A through D. And here is the effects right here. And they each have a for loop and it just goes through a different sequence on each one. And there it is. You don't have to worry about writing code. You can get the code anywhere on the internet. All you have to do to make it fit your project is play around with the settings on there. Like you see down here. Say if you like this one right here, you could change some of those figures right there to make it work for you. We'll have more Arduino projects coming up soon. So until the next time, we'll see ya.